And yet another more modern chapter in this immigration story is being written here in St. Louis. Forest Park is one of the more popular places for wedding couples to have their pictures taken. These newlyweds all came to America to escape the ravages of the Bosnian Civil War. An hour or so before, this couple were married in a Bosnian Muslim ceremony. And when did you decide to get married? He proposed on my birthday, on my 21st birthday. Yeah. Oh, how very charming, yeah. how very romantic. Yeah. And you said? Yes. <laughs> I didn't believe him at first. Why not? I don't know. I just thought he was joking when he proposed. <laughs> and do you now feel that you have got married in a foreign country or in the country that you've adopted as your own now? I think it feels like the country we've adopted is our own. Yeah, I feel at home here. Yeah. yeah. St. Louis now has the largest community of Bosnians anywhere in the country. 50,000 of them live in what's been called Little Bosnia. Businessman Ibrahim Vajzevic gives me a vivid description of how successfully his compatriots have settled here. We're driving by Bosnian businesses. This is Bosnian Cafe. This is a big restaurant owned by Bosnian, Bosnian businesses, travel agency. An area once in decline is now thriving with all things Bosnian. On the right side, we have attorneys, Bosnian attorneys. This is Bosnian Chamber of Commerce. Everything from here is owned by Bosnians. You've taken over, you've, you've colonized this part of uh, the city. Actually, this part of the city was kind of dying off in the 90s. So it, it was a mutual benefit, it was win-win. It yeah. was good for the city and it was good for Bosnians. Ibrahim takes me to a coffee shop that's a favorite with the locals. I'll introduce you to it's, some It's much, much larger than you think. Thank you very much. These people who came here from Central Europe are now proud to call themselves Americans. Having successfully overcome the problems faced by immigrants throughout the ages. What were those early days like? How did you find settling in? The early days, when I look from this point, they were tough for all of us. First of all, we couldn't speak English. And then we made just little money. It was entry-level jobs for most of us. So we were surviving. But we knew that we would succeed eventually if we work hard, if we go to school, if we improve our language skills. And most of us did. When you look around, when you walk down here, the, these streets and so on, and see all these Bosnian businesses, Bosnian-owned businesses, uh, that must induce in you a feeling of some quiet pride. Of course, I'm very proud to see that. And then, sometime I probably stress that too much, this is Bosnian business, this is Bosnian business, but it's inside me. I'm so proud to have our people succeed in this country especially knowing what happened to us in the 90s after the, the terrible genocide that happened against my nation and my country. I'm proud that they're good Americans. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Those words of the poem written on the base of the Statue of Liberty are now so appropriate to the Bosnians who can now join the celebrations of their adopted country's Independence Day. I'm continuing my journey north. And I'm heading to a place that has done more than any other to sell the Mississippi's fame to the world. 